Hello everyone, my name is Awa and I'm going to and I'm going to help you with revising some digital society topics. And so we're going to start with the unit data and uh, this is the first part of kind of um, overviewing uh, the content of this unit. So first of all, what is data? Uh, data refers to any collection of facts statistics or information uh, that is gathered, stored, and analyzed for various purposes. It can exist in various forms, such as numbers, text, images, audio, video, and more. Uh, data can be both structured and unstructured, uh, and it plays a crucial role in such fields like science, technology, business, uh, and many others. It can be used to gain uh, insights, make informed decisions, support analysis and predictions, discover patterns, and solve different problems. So uh, the first is the model, DIKW, which stands for uh, Data Information Knowledge and Wisdom. It is a framework uh, that represents the hierarchy of knowledge and understanding derived from uh, raw data. Um, so at the base level, data refers to raw and un unprocessed facts, figures, and observations. Uh, then information is derived from data through the process of organizing, structuring, and con contextual contextualizing it. Uh, information provides meaning and context to data by transforming it into a more understandable and useful form. Then uh, go the next level is knowledge, uh, and it represents the synthesized information that has been already analyzed, in interpreted, or um, so it can be uh, changed. And also it involves connecting and integrating various pieces of inf information to derive deeper insights and understand relationships. Um, and the highest level is wisdom. It represents the application of knowledge in a meaningful and insightful way. It involves the ability to make sound judgments, uh, decisions, and recommendations based on a deep understanding of the subject matter. So this is an example. Uh, for example, uh, we can look outside the window and see that it is raining. So it is a, uh, the simple observation. And therefore, uh, information is derived from this data that the temperature dropped and the humidity went up in Egypt at 10 a.m. Uh, the knowledge is how uh, we got this information. So, um, as we assumed that uh, the temperature dropped and humidity increased, and also there was a lower pressure of area, um, we can assume that uh, it is raining. Why? Because uh, interactions between these uh, characteristics can lead us to this, um, this thought. And therefore, um, the final like, statement that we can um, say is that based on the observations and model, we can predict why and when it will rain in the future. Uh, that data can be also classified into various types based on different characteristics and properties. For example, uh, categorical data represents variables that can be divided into distinct categories uh, and or groups. It is qualitative in nature and often uh, represented by labels or names rather than numerical values like in uh, quantitative data. So numerical data represents um, represents numbers and it can be also divided into two, discrete and continuous data. Uh, discrete data consists of whole numbers or countable values. And uh, however, continuous data represents variables that can take any value uh, within a range or inter inter interval. It can include uh, decimal numbers and has infinite possible values. Examples include height, weight, temperature, or time. 
So, uh, um, big data, big data is an important term that uh, that can be used in uh, different essays and etc. Big data is characterized by a massive volume of data. It refers to the vast amounts of uh, information generated from various sources, sources such as sensors, social media transactions, and more. Uh, big data comes in various formats and types. It includes uh, structured data and semi-structured data, as well as unstructured data like uh, text, images, and videos. Uh, as you can see from this slide, uh, there are four characteristics of uh, big data. For example, volume, as, uh, I've, as I've already mentioned, it is a, a huge amount of uh, information. Uh, also, also, big data often arrives at a high velocity, with uh, data being generated in real time or near real time. For example, social media feeds, online transactions, Sensor data generate data streams that need to be captured and processed quickly to extract meaningful insights and take timely actions. Uh, also, veracity refers to the reliability and quality of the data. Uh, big data is often characterized by data uncertainty, um, incompleteness, inconsistency, and noise. And also, the final one is variety. Uh, Big data often uh, can be uh, existing in different forms. Uh, I've already mentioned that. So, uh, now let me explain the data classification. Um, there are types of data and classification. It is different things. So classification in the context of information security is the classification of data based on its level on, of sensitivity. So as you can see from these uh, types of classification, there are uh, like different levels uh, where people can, how people can get ac access to uh, the information. For example, they can be public, uh, which means that the information is freely disclosed to the public, like marketing materials, price lists, so uh, everything that is on the internet. And also there can be uh, public and private. Private is uh, internal only and confidential in a, like one type. It means that uh, it is a sensitive data uh, that if compromised could negatively uh, affect operations. And also there is a restricted type of uh, data that is the most uh, like highest level of sensitivity. And um, if, if uh, in the case of uh, compromised data, it could put uh, the organization or at financial or legal risk. It's like a very private information, like uh, IP address, uh, credit card information, social security numbers, and etc. Now uh, let's move on to the topic of data life cycle. This is the um, like um, period of time where the information or data exists in a system or any other database. So the first step is creating or extracting. Uh, the initial stage where data is generated from various sources such as uh, social media, databases, and other forms. Uh, and the next one is um, storage. Uh, organization uh, uses data stor storage or processing systems um, that include uh, distributed file systems, cloud storage, or other data uh, rep repositories repositories so and then 
Data is processed and analyzed to derive insights, patterns, and valuable information. Uh, it also includes cleaning, describing, preparing, preparing to analyze. And therefore, the next one is analyzing, um, which means that the data can be uh, interpreted or in other way uh, be changed. And after processing and analysis, the results are presented in a human readable format. Uh, data visualization tools, dashboards, reports, or interactive interfaces are used to communicate the findings and effectively um, the findings effectively to stakeholders. Visualization helps in understanding complex patterns, trends, and relationships within the data. Uh, after uh, the process data is used for various purposes and applications such as uh, decision making, business, business operations, research, and other. Uh, so, like the pre pre final step is the preserving, so keeping the uh, information if it is needed, and the the most final step is reusing. Uh, reusing the uh, data in order to ensure that uh, it is uh, being used effectively. So security is the process of protecting hardware, software and data from unauthorized access while allowing um, needed users to perform their work. Uh, there are different methods of uh, securing the data. There is an encry encryption uh, method by which information is converted into secret code that hides the information's true meaning, uh, which is like shifravanie. And data encryption uh, prevents uh, these unauthorized users from ac accessing to data. This technique requires some type of authorization or key to decrypt and view uh, or edit data. And also there is a data masking, a way to create a fake but a realistic version of your organizational data. The goal is to protect, protect sensitive data while providing a functional alternative when real data is not needed. When data is masked, all uh, or parts of the data are replaced. Therefore, uh, many organizations use uh, these methods to make sure that the data is uh, secured and uh, kept uh, safely in their databases. So that's all. Thank you for listening.